Hi there and welcome back. Let's try Legend of Keepers together by the wonderful Goblins Studio from France. They've done a lot of great games recently and I just want to check this out together with you. I've played it a little bit already. It's a really cool game where you play basically as a dungeon master and you acquire monsters, upgrades for the monsters, you acquire some traps to stop adventurers trying to get the boss down. Yeah, we'll go for a new one. So you can see it all. No, we don't want a lot of tutorial. It's a passion. I'll explain along the way. So we're starting here in the first dungeon. Later you can unlock more. We can uh, go for talents if we want. You can see we have one talent point. So you can build your talents and depending on how you build your talents, some things will be better or worse for you. Um, for example, this would give your master, like that's the final boss, a buff that is called the shell at the end, that will protect him better. That will grant the master something, and so that's about the master. As you can see, that intimidation is also about it, but here this is buffing our monsters. So we want to focus on the monsters first, because that's fun, because monsters are always the first opponents. Uh, that the adventurers get and you want to weaken them very early on We'll just take the standard set as you can see we have some goblins orcs skeletal archers all kinds of things like that Let's get to work Welcome to the company Mog. I am delighted to have you with us. We'll need your fabled management techniques we're putting you in charge of a little team in the old empire, a region overrun by humans. Ugh. It's up to you to gather the monsters in the area and teach them how to defend themselves. Turn them into great employees, ready to give their lives multiple times for the company. Yes, the monster's company, here we go. Because once a monster is downed, you can revive it. But it will affect his its mood, definitely. So week one, we have some adventurers coming. Let's start this. We have the preparation phase where you put everything in place for the adventurers to come. So first you place a trap. So that's, that's the first, that, that's the welcome thing. So you can go for a circular saw, apply physical damage, the bone catapult. Applied Moral Damage, the Rallying Horn, will enrage the next group of monsters and deal also Moral Damage. So this will also apply Demoralize, this will apply Enrage to the next group of monsters, so it will buff the next group of monsters, this will debuff uh, the heroes here. And this one will just apply some physical damage. So that's direct method and so on. So we'll go for the direct method first. Let's just go for the circular saw and do some damage. Then, so this is the group of adventurers we have. You can also see what they're doing and what they're capable of. They do some, as you can see, area damage, front damage. Uh, they have hit points, they have morale. As you can see, this is a little bit balanced with these, so you can choose what you want to go for. And the main thing is, like, you, you should decide for, for one thing, either morale or physical damage, because you want to defeat them, and either they run away, or they die. So you can see this, for example, is better with damage it applies poison while this guy in the middle applies moral damage as well so um now we only have three to select from so we'll do that let's see this one has 120 hit points this one has 50 hit points this one has 55 so you wouldn't want to put of course the that guy at the front because he's a typical front liner then you could have Maybe this guy in the middle. Well, wait. I want to 
have this guy here. And this guy, you can see from the back line, he does nature damage. Here we go. Let's confirm that. Now we can place another trap. So we can enrage the next group of monsters. In that case... Yeah, we could maybe do that. Because we have some monsters coming. Now let's see who has the most hit points. That's the main thing. Uh, it's again Nugbu, who has some of the most, but we can compare armor now. So he has also the best armor. So we'll put him at the front line. Then we have these two. How's the armor? Yeah, this guy should go, go to the back line. This guy should go here. This guy should go here. Here we go. Ah, go we have the boss. Some. So we'll follow these adventures. We're getting that and they're bleeding too. Oh, she. Now we're coming to the fight. Ooh. Ah, oh, they've changed us. Mm, that's not great. So let's see. We can do a goblin trick or the poison dagger. Poison dagger does more damage. So let's apply that. Let's see. Now we can go toxic volley, which applies 3 times 15 plus 3 times 5. So another 15, now it's 60 damage in total. This thing applies a little bit more even, but only on one person. But I think we'll do that. It's it's very cool to target like one of them. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, that's the problem of course. Now, let's see what we can do here. We can do physical damage or we can do area moral damage. As we've damaged physical, we'll continue to do physical damage. Here we go. see so we can apply the poison dagger again if you want so to the front this one to the back would deal physical damage that's also pretty cool they have resistances increased here at the front line but they are also bleeding so we could maybe eliminate them if we go for the poison dagger first so in the next round that one is also suffering but maybe if we're lucky Ah, so close, so close. Okay, they healed them. Ah, that's bad. So we can select a spell now. Burning Whip. 60 damage to the front. Show no mercy. Applies in rage to the next group of monsters. Or Intimidation. I think we want the Burning Whip. To get rid of this guy. And damage the others. You only have the moral damage, and this group of monsters is now enraged. Which will be a good thing for us. Uh, we're starting with either a fireball from the Skeleton Magus or Fear of the Dead. We want to do damage, so we go for the fireball. And that was really not bad, too. Same thing here, we could do area ice damage. If we had three heroes, that would be cool, but we'll go for the ice block. Already reduced them to that one guy. Now let's go for the cleaver. And again for the fireball. Boom. Blasting them away, you've successfully protected the treasure. We can now select one new guy. That ice skeleton here, a skeleton scientist, or a goblin drummer. Hmm. I really like uh, direct damage, so let's go for the ice skeleton for now. Does a lot of damage. The motivation is kind of meh because this guy died a little bit. Yeah, they they all died a little bit, and because of that, they have less motivation. So we could send them to the trainer, train them, buy a trap or monster, or we could spend some gold to up upgrade the active traps. Hmm. 
I don't know if we would train these relatively weak monsters still, or the relatively weak traps. Maybe we should look if there's something really cool there, like a gnoll, the skeleton dog, or the poisonous plant. Ooh. Physical damage. Yeah, I, I really like the dog for some reason. Guaranteed critical to the one at the back. Gains 50 to all resistances per monster of the group, benefiting from enraged. That's a nice passive from the Gnoll. And the poisonous plant has just nature resistance reduced by 40 for the others in the area. That, that poison skill here. That's pretty nice. So we want things with good hit points, man. The, the poisonous plant doesn't even have hit points, so you cannot really kill it. So that's probably a trap. 20 nature damage, nature weakness. We could combine into nature. That's, that's actually a great idea. So we could buy that. And we could buy that guy. So let's leave here. So that's you can all, only do one of those things. So it's also time management based, as you can see. We have the alchemist. We could transmute blood or tears into another resource, but we don't have the resources for that. Or we go for an event. The ninth door, Golfor, is asking for blood. Quench his thirst, and he will send one of his most dreadful avatars into the mortal world. Summons a random monster of demon type. 240 life by minus 240 life by choosing the ritual. That's the life of the slaveholder. That regenerates. So um, we can go for that. We can go for a ritual as well. We can go for the offering. Or we, can go, we can only go for the ritual. So. Ritual affects us. us uh, you can have also have blood store. Then you can invest that. So now we can again uh, spend some gold to train the active monsters, and why not? I mean, we have acquired new monsters. That would be an option, or we could go for another event. But we want to check out the trainer, so we see everything. So we can see now that we have, for example, that Gnoll here. Costs a lot to train. But we have just acquired him, and we want him to be really good. Getting new adventurers. What will come our way now? Let's see. So we can we can place them pl the poisonous plant or the circular saw. So this has uh, ten and minus ten on the next turn. This has twenty, but not on the next turn. So, um, but nature resistance reduced by forty. We want that in preparation for the gnoll. So let's confirm that. Then we have our monsters. Let's see, we have Quadud, Mandible, Sakaho, Corrigs. And these are the heroes. You can also see them from the side. And they have... Mm, yeah, they have maybe slightly less moral. But we want to concentrate into nature damage if that is possible. So we need a good frontliner again. Who could that be? Yeah, only that guy. And then we will have... Mm. Yeah, we have our guys. Wait. The frontliner. And then we have this guy as the second, and Mandible as the third. Let's confirm that. I think we cannot use the Gnoll because he's getting trained. So, let's see. That. We can now add something. As we've concentrated into damage, we could still go for the Rallying Horn. That is pretty good. Damage and moral dealt increased by 30%. Or the Circular Saw by just applying some damage. But I think we'll go for the Rallying Horn. That has been... Not too bad. 
because there's a chance that we can uh, or maybe yeah maybe there's a chance that we can even get one down already so let's go for the circular saw let's go concentrate on damage we go for Nukbu again I think even though no we'll go for Warthog look at him he's got he's got 40% armor this guy has 35% armor so we'll get go for him then we have Zuvros or Nugbu. Nugbu is certainly helping too. These damage things that they can throw out is let's, let's have him and let's have him. Or maybe let's just have him. Here we go. Prepare to die. So they're get, getting affected by the major damage. Now let's see what they do. Uh, let's give them some nature damage again. Extra damage because of nature weakness. Ah. Uh, see about the toxic volley. 60 damage in total. This one has also 60 damage in total, but on one of them. Hmm. I I mean it's really hard. So let's see what are we gonna do next. We could go for toxic volley or for the poison arrow. Poison arrow would go to the back line. And um, we can have we have another means of attack here for the back line. Thirty-five physical damage or to the front. Thirty-five nature damage. So we could maybe combine that to bring down the front pretty quickly with a toxic volley. Ow! Now we can go cleaver to target the front. Right, here we go. We can attack more of the front line now with a poison dagger, which is just what we want. We want to bring down the front first. Yeah. Here we go. I'm committed. Ah! Ah, that wasn't too great. Um, now let's maybe go for another toxic volley Let's see if that brings down everyone so with all these effects hopefully we'll be able to bring this guy down ah yeah we'll die but in the next round this guy should go down here we go now we can see what we want to do and we want to do a burning whip. Let's bring down the physical damage on them. Or well, not necessarily the physical, but the damage. The damage. Ouch! So let's see, we can go fireball. To the back line or fear of the dead to everyone let's fireball them because why not ow protective strike to the front with nature damage or a cackle here we go take one out go for the ice block or the freezing breath easy choice Another fireball and a protective strike. Here we go. Down and out. So we can go and go now for a ball man. <laughs> 
For the skeleton scientist, going for nature damage. Hmm, for the area. Or the goblin drummer, going for air damage. I think we should continue with our nature stuff. Right, let's take the skeleton scientist, so we can combine that. Motivation is going down pretty much. So we need these guys need a pause, like at least Gix and Mandible needs one. Let's see, we have 209, so we could go and improve something. Or we could train someone. Hmm. Or we could, as you can see here, we ha still have two more traps that we could choose, or two more employees that we could choose. So maybe train a monster. Let's see. So level two already trained. Nugbu cannot be trained for some reason. Ah, uh, because too much money. Mandible. Hmm. We can train our new scientist for two hundred. That would be crazy. But we want this nature damage, right? So he he was going to be pausing. So we'll give that to. The nature uh, to the nature scientist, the undead scientist. Now we can go hmm, either plunder or go on a business trip. Choose an employee to protect the sales department during a business trip. Now nah, we'll plunder. Let's see, whom will we plunder? These guys, one volunteer. Enraged for all monsters, the breeding farm, risk of injury, one volunteer, three weeks. One volunteer, 10 weeks, 75, but a lot of gold gain. Necromancer's Lair will decrease the motivation. Well, we'll find a monster. Hard to tell. I, I think we'll, we'll go with that. Risk of injury, 75%, 10 weeks, but we'll get a lot of gold. Oh, <laughs> Gnoll is injured. Oh, no. The volunteers have taken control of the mine all week, forcing the miners to work for them. Wogog is badly wounded and will need 10 weeks of medical care. No! Like the best employee. Great. But we have more money again. So we can go and look for a monster, maybe. We could go for another boar man. <laughs> or the polar portal with ice damage. Physical damage vulnerable. The skeleton majorette seems pretty handy. It's also pretty quick. Hmm. Five percent of life maximum of maximum life as ice damage per turn. Wow, that's also really cool. And 10 ice damage. I, th I think we can use this as a new trap. The polar portal. Let's buy that thing. Leave. Mm, we can go for a trainer. Or for an intensi intensive training course. But we have no resources for that. So let's see. Whom can we train? We can train... Uramorn. Yeah, the Skeleton Magus or Korrigs, the Psycho Imp. Hmm. Or Jix. I mean, we love Jix, so let's just train him. So we could have adventurers or veterans. Veterans are stronger. And as our Gnoll is injured, I think we'll just go for some adventurers again. Mm. I think we'll leave a couple of them here at the garrison. Because they need to recover. Traps, everything nice.
let's prepare. The poison's plant was pretty great. The polar portal, 5% of maximum life is also pretty good. Still, we wanted to go for a little bit of nature damage. So let's confirm that. Let's see, we have, yeah, we have no real choice. Let's have him at the front. Uh, Sakahu. Okorigs. Mm. Have him as the second and him as the third. And as a second thing, we'll have the polar portal. Or should we? Uh, I think we'll we'll try for that. Then the last thing. Uh, Nookboo would be good. Or a morn. I think we're going to go Nookboo. We're going to go Silveros. And Pierre at the back because we want to try him out. Ah, fresh meat! So they're getting their stuff and their nature weakness. Ooh. Ah, they're swapping it out. I, I really don't like that. And you see for what reason. <laughs> Let's see. Hypothermia. Or oh, ice damage. Yeah. The frozen arm. We want that. There we go. Take someone down as quickly as we can. Ouch. Scream of terror. Let's cleave. <clears throat> cleave in. Ah, goodness me. If we survive that, we would be very lucky. Nope, don't survive. <laughs> They're also getting stronger, as you see here. The ice portal is doing some damage. Hmm, we could show no mercy. Intimidation. I think we, we want the, just that guy before they heal him or something. Just we just want him done and out. Ow! What are they doing here? Could have toxins or pheromones. Thirty air damage on the front minus thirty. The monster who defeats this hero gains two motivation. That's nice, or we could have some nature damage. 28 nature damage, or 30. Oh well. Let's have this guy down, going down, hopefully. Look at him, look at him. Mm. Unfortunately, we don't have enough. We'll, we'll have to hope that we can somehow Ah, uh, yeah, he would get, he would get that. I think we want the toxins now. Because we want someone else to kill him. Maybe him here. The ice block or the freezing breath. Applies slowed. Um, 24. I just need to kill someone, come on. Ow. Okay. Still there. Good night. Successfully protected treasure, so... We could learn something this time. Uh, whiplash. Physical damage regenerates the master's life. Could up level or this enrage to the next group of monsters. That's good. Or regeneration. He could just regenerate. Hmm. I think we'll go for the monsters here. Show no mercy. So motivation has been rising for gigs has been lower for the others. 
mostly. Mandible has also recovered well. Engineer we cannot afford. We could go for a workout. The master has to stay fit or um, we could go for an event. Uh, let's go for an event. I'm a journeyman trainer. By chance you meet a trainer, uh, you meet a tamer traveling through the region and looking for some work. This traveler offers you to train one of your employees at half price. If you have the right employee in your employee, you could even negotiate for him to work for free. No, but yeah, we, we, anyways, we wanted to train this guy, so it's good. It's good. Let's see. Now we could have that. Transmute blood or tears into another resource or an event. Mm, we don't know which resource we want yet, so let's go for an event. Team building. During a break, you played the famous fantasy role-playing game, Houses and Humans, with your employees. They've learned a lot about themselves, <laughs> plus one motivation for all available monsters. Great! Then we are at, we could go to the black market, sell monsters that are no longer useful. No, we want, don't want to sell. Event. Broken trap. One of your traps didn't pass the last mandatory checkup. No, the catapult! And call a repairer or send it for five weeks to the technical department who will fix it for free. If you have the appropriate artifact, you can, of course, rem repair it immediately. Oh, well, send it away. Okay. Um, we have no money, so let's go for that. Lucky me. You placed a bet on a ball racing game during lunch break. The one you chose finished first, and you won the jackpot. You could also use your winnings to throw a party for your employees. One motivation for all available monsters. That's, of course, good. I think we've got to keep the money, because we need always money at the moment. Let's go for some adventurers, shouldn't we? Here we go. Her, 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 her. Here we go. What's coming now? Oh, we have the newly upgraded quartered and these two guys. Confirm. Let's place a trap. Oh, they've changed that, right? So now we're taking the monsters first and then the trap. Huh? Yeah, of course we want the poisonous plant. Confirm that. And we're gonna place the monsters. Uh, Nubu, Silveros and Pierre were working fine. Uh, yeah, maybe that's, let's go for the rallying horn. Even though I don't think there's no, there's nothing there, so let's go for the for the polar portal as a finisher. <laughs> Come get some. Because the order was kind of strange. Oh, there. Yeah. Ow! Now let's see. Frozen arm to the front or hypothermia. Let's see. We can do front damage. Good front damage. Yeah, yeah. We can do good front damage. My 30 moral. Mm. Front, front, front. <coughs> Here we go. Ooh, that wasn't too great. Now let's see. Butcher knives or murderous madness. Here we go. I'm committed. Ow. Oh. Come on. Oh. That was terrible. Still. Let's bring this guy down. And apply the butcher knives again. It's getting tougher. You can see that. You can see that. Ow. Still standing, but no longer. <laughs> We're so owned, just because... Like, we didn't have the plan at first. Burning whip. We want this guy done. Out. Removed. Holly! Ah! Toxins or pheromones? 
Go for those, some toxins. Here we go. I'm Ow. Selected attack. Ice block or freezing breath. Yeah, ice block is better now. That's only two. People there. Ow. Wow, they're doing damage like mad. Now let's go for pheromones. Ice blocking it. <laughs> Come on. Ouch. Come on, let's ice them down, will you? Welcome to my torture room. Oh, it's getting crazy. Ah. Oh yeah. Whiplash. No. Really getting it done. Um. Hmm. Air damage challenge now. Ha! One more corpse to decorate my home. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so let's see what what could we get? Pandora's box. Ah, stacks of all penalties applied to heroes increased by two. Pandora's box, pile of bones, minus 35. And the bone catapult. We already have that. So let's go for Pandora's box. I just like the name, you know. Motivation's going down badly. We could see the doctor. But I think uh, we're going to end this for now. Because weeks, 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 weeks after weeks, you, you now know how the game goes. And uh, you can see that it's a lot of fun. It's also very short to play a round or to play a week. It's quite motivating to go further and further and further. And uh, we might come back to this. Because it's it's very fun. It's just so... Like, it's a go-for game. It's it's a typical game of the Goblins studio. They're just... Uh, you don't need hours and hours and hours for this. Like, half an hour is, is quite enough. And it's... Uh, it's pretty motivating still. I mean, we, I, we could play this for hours and hours, but... You don't have to get into it for, for a long time. You can just instantly do something. And this is, like puzzle combat for me it's 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 very very nice very fine and we can already see that our strategy has some kind of weakness and i i suspect that maybe maybe the adventurers adapt to that we'll see thank you for watching have a great time until next time and happy gaming this is one signing out see you soon and happy gaming